What's good, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to increase your VR performance in only a short amount of time. Let's go. So the first thing I want to do, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to click on GeForce Experience if you have it installed. If you don't, I have a link in the description. You're going to click on Drivers and make sure you have the latest driver installed. As you can see, I have the latest driver. I want to minimize that. And then you're going to want to click on your desktop, right click, and click on NVIDIA Control Panel. And once that opens up, you're going to want to click on Manage 3D Settings if you're not already there, and click on Global Settings. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your OpenGL Rendering GPU and make sure it is your GPU. Your Power Management Mode, you're going to make it Maximum Performance. And your Quality is on High Performance. And this setting only applies if you have an Oculus Quest 2. So if you have a Quest 2, follow these steps. What you're going to want to do is click on the Oculus. Once that opens up, you're going to want to navigate to the Devices tab, click on your Quest 2 if it's connected. If it's not connected, click on Graphics Preferences, and you're going to want to crank the refresh rate all the way down to 72 Hz. The reason we do this is to find a stable benchmark for your PC and find what it can run. I recommend leaving this on automatic, but if your PC is bad, you could turn it down a lot more if you want, but that's what you have to do. Another thing I'd recommend doing is opening up your web browser, typing in the GitHub link I have in the description below, clicking on VR Performance Toolkit, and downloading the latest release, and dragging it to your desktop. And if you don't have WinRAR, the link will be in the description. What you're going to want to do is right-click on it, click on Extract to, and a little folder will apply right here. Open the folder, and you will have all these files. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the directory of any of your Steam games. And to do that, you're going to want to open up Steam. And once your Steam opens up, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to click on any VR game. It can be any VR game. Um, you're going to click on it. Click the little manage icon right here. And you want to click on browse local files. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click dxgi.dll and vrperfkit.yml and, and drag them in here. And then you're going to want to run your game. Now what you can do is close out of your game because we just needed that log file to be there. Now when you open the log file, you will see all of the debug that you have that the game has accessed from VR Performance Toolkit. Now what you can do is go into the YML file and all of this stuff is for your game. All of these hashtags are just little notes. It'll usually just go something like setting, no, 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 setting, no setting now for the method i recommend for you to change this from cas to fsr and also try running the game at default values just change it to fsr run the game if it still seems to be running too laggy bump this down to 0 0.8 and you don't really want to change the sharpness value too much but keep the render scale at what it is run the game see what you can run it at drop it down by one every time. All of these settings like sharpness, radius, I don't rec recommend messing with them because it will actually in fact lower your FPS if you raise them and you can close out of that. And that is another way. Another thing you could also do is you can look at MSI Afterburner. It is a really good site and it is a safe overclocking tool and you could just search up a guide on YouTube and find out how to overclock. And that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.